17430 Plaza de la Rosa in San Diego. Gonna start here at the side of the home. First thing I'm gonna mention is that the wood looks really good on this home. That's always the unknown in a roofing project, but we've got fascia, rafter tails, starter board, blocking, and it all looks good. I haven't actually found any rotten wood on the home, and that's gonna save a whole bunch of money. I am gonna suggest that we get rid of these plastic rain gutters. I don't really like those. And uh, these tabs right here, our new drip edge will need to be trimmed around those tabs. And so I always suggest when I see these plastic gutters that we go ahead and upgrade those to a seamless metal rain gutter that will last much longer. And we can install those after the new roof goes on. Um, it's kind of a better um, plan of attack. We've got a 100 amp um, main electrical panel with a 125 amp bus bar. We could fit uh, pretty easily up to Oh, we can get creative and fit up to about 22 solar panels on this electrical panel. We've got one breaker space here. We can make another one there and here. Um, so we do have enough space on our electrical panel. This is a modern um, style electrical panel. It's not one of the uh, <clears throat> not one of the unsafe ones that we see from the 50s and 60s. Um, and so um, unless we wanted to upgrade that, that is perfectly acceptable for what we're doing. Let's go ahead and work quickly. The home is very well maintained, very nice design, and uh, will benefit from a flat concrete gray tile to uh, accentuate the contemporary design. Over here, we can see that the home does have fairly good intake ventilation. Anywhere where these screened off vents, um, we see those screened off vents, that's to allow cool air up into the attic space. Then we need rooftop vents to allow the hot air out. So there's intake and exhaust. Let's go ahead and jump up there, I'll show you what I mean. So the S-Tile does do a very good job, um, uh, excuse me, insulating this roof. So does a flat concrete tile. Uh, we want an air gap created there and, uh, and the thick concrete of the tile itself actually provides really good um, ventilation, uh, or insulation, excuse me. Um, so when these gutters were installed, this little piece of metal was installed to keep the water from going between the fascia and the, and the gutter. And so with our new roof goes on, we're gonna have uh, a, a piece of drip edge that accomplishes the same goal. So again, I would recommend getting rid of this piece of metal as well as, well as these gutters. <sighs> these tiles are still very strong. They are losing a ton of their color. It's hard to say if they, I, I, I would say this is the original roof and it was installed very well. Um, things like this flashing here, uh, that's, uh, that has saved a lot of issues. Don't know if that was originally installed or if it was added after the fact. These valleys are called tight valleys where the tiles are touching. Um, the new method of tiling a valley is where we open that up to allow the water to rinse any debris out of there. There will be valley metal that keeps it waterproof and we paint that valley metal to match the tiles that we install. We can see the original uh, penetrations on this roof have the, what's called a mortar flashing. It's a cement product that goes around each of those. And we can see that they're all failing. But the majority of the penetrations on the home have been redone uh, with metal like those guys. I'm guessing that this was the original furnace and water heater. And uh, I think that we can get rid of both of those. That looks like the new water heater and that looks like the new high efficiency furnace. Uh, not 100% certain, but just a guess. Amazing that this thing stayed waterproof as long as it did. I don't know how that's not leaking. Wind driven rain definitely getting in there. This tile was sliding out of place. I moved it just to get a better look at what the felt looks like underneath. And yeah, that's definitely original. Uh, this tile was right about there. All oh, these are new flashings. Those look good. Last thing I want to show you on the back of the house, um, on this, oop, there's a broken one. Uh, on this entire roof, there is one exhaust vent. And so there is no intake without exhaust. We actually need more exhaust than intake for it to proper induction to properly work. So we will be increasing the amount of exhaust ventilation on this home and we won't be using this style of vent. I move this tile because these things always allow water down to the felt and sure enough um, I can see a bunch of uh, moisture on the felt here downhill from this dormer vent. We'll get this get this tile 
back in place so we don't have any issues. And based on what I see, yes, it's absolutely time to replace this roof, but this roof was installed very well and uh, don't find a whole ton of issues with it. Um, and it's definitely gonna save you some money not having massive amounts of wood repair like I've seen on homes of similar ages. Okay, that's it for the roof.